At Cop Block, we often talk about how arbitrary the dictates are, the uh, words on paper that people with badges sometimes feel that they have to abide by. But uh, what I want to talk today about is courts. So to point out just uh, a, a tiny fraction of the arbitrariness that happens when you go to court uh, is the difference between the, the, key, the court in Keene and the court in Manchester, which are, uh, you know, an hour and 15 minutes apart from each other. But uh, you go to Keene and, uh, you know, I can walk in, I can walk in the courtroom with this today, but the court wasn't an issue. Um, but you go to Keene with a camera and they take it. In Manchester, it's the inverse. In Manchester, you can walk in the security, at least, uh, you know, as of today, when, when I'm being filmed, that could change tomorrow. Again, it's so arbitrary. But you can walk through uh, with your camera, not a problem. You go in with a chain and they take it from you. Take the chain off and leave the building. Can I ask you why? It's up to you. That's our policy. Can I ask you why? That's our policy. Right. No chains in the building. No chains. Is there a, can you show me a written directive on no that? No chains. I'm just telling you right now. Is there a written directive that there's no chains? No chains. We take them. Is that your statement? Hey, Bob. We'll get a supervisor to answer your questions for you, right? Well, I mean, if you were just willing to... If you were just demanding my chain, obviously there's some rationale for you asking for my chain. It can so be used as a weapon, okay? Sir, most any object could, and obviously, I'm, I'm a peaceful person. I'll give you my word. I'm not going to do anything. That's our policy. Right. We'll get an answer for you shortly, all right? What if they told you someone walked in here with a chain and said, shoot him? Would you do that? I mean, think about think about what you're doing, man. This isn't just a job. I'm just trying to support a friend. I just want to go in there without being harassed, and you're trying to take my property. No comment, sir. Well, you don't have to comment, but I hope you at least think about it. If not now, when you get home, at least when you cash your check, when you look at your family, and they say, hey, how was your day at work today? Yeah. I mean, are you really serving and protecting, or are you keeping the community safer? Are you creating a divisive situation where you guys have more rights than I do because you have a badge? Sir, I'm asking a question. I'm trying to have a good for you, all right? That's great customer service. I would appreciate a kinder tone. I have hey, a great to you. Can I take a peek at that chain? Yeah, it's a wall chain. Yeah, normally we have all chains removed, we hold it down here. We don't want the contents of your wall, just the chains, that's okay. Right, so you go ahead. I don't even hold anybody up. I'm, and my question to your colleague, Mr. Kelly, K-L-E-Y, was simply, where's the directive that says I can't have a wall chain in here? Do you want to come in with us? I'll hold the chain for you, that's fine. Right. I would appreciate my question being answered, sir. Cops with banjos, cops with banjos, we're gonna pull you over just because we can, Joe. Hey, what are you filming over here? Because I'm the man, Joe, and that's the plan. Aren't you a public servant? Aren't you accountable to us? Is that part of your job to talk and communicate with the public? I don't have to. I don't want to. I'm nice. 